Alrighty, welcome back to NZ Micro Outlook Customs. So, my name's Glenn. Anyway, on this video, we're gonna build you know, nothing to do with cars. I'm just gonna mo do some modifications to my, um, I guess you would call it a work trolley with all my bits and pieces on it. I'll flip you around and I'll show you what I'm thinking of doing and what I'm gonna do it with. Righty, so for you who know, but you've probably seen this before, it's my work trolley. So I've got my air tools on there. I actually modified this this morning. This is a strap that I used to put my squares and bits and pieces on. So I put a couple bits of, I think the 5mm rod or whatever it is on the back. Just to hold some cutting discs, sanding discs, whatever. Um, just to have them handy for obviously when I'm working. I've also got stuff up here as well. So when I'm over here working on the bench, I've got something handy. So I don't have to drag this over for whatever. But I've always got them with me. There's a game that was something else I had, it was just freaking lying in here. But what I want to do um, for I don't know, an hour or so is make up somewhere to put spray cans. So, you know, I've got my rust converter and my weld through primer and a bit of just rattle can etch. And, you know, you got a can of black and a can of silver and, you know, maybe a couple of new cans and, you know, you're brake clean and you're penetrating oil, CRC, whatever you use. You know, maybe a, I don't know, just whatever, you know. So, nothing worse than chasing these fucking things down all the time. So, yeah, I get to the end of the day, I can sit them back, and the next morning I know where they are again, instead of, you know, if I put them back and I'm, okay, shit, where's my rust converter? Okay, you have a look around, find it, put it back, unless then you're ready for the next day or whatever. You know, every couple of days you have a clean up and sort shit out. Um, so, what I'm going to do is cut... This is three inch exhaust pipe. It fits perfectly. So I'm going to cut about a little bit over two inch rings off here. And uh, weld them together. What I'll do is I'll sit them, I'm not going to weld them to this, but I'm going to sit them on this plate once I get them lined up. And put a bit of this on the bottom, basically line them up across it, tack them all together and then buzz them to this and then I'll weld, or oh, sorry, weld. But I'll screw this to here, and also I'll shorten that up, and I've got another piece there, which I'm just going to put a, a short extension across the back. So I'm going to put the main four or five cans down here, whatever I can fit, and then a few extras down the back of stuff that I will be using, but not so regularly. You know, like I'm using this and this and that, you know, all the time, you know, CRC brake clean. I'm using that all the time. So that would be, my, say, my main five that hopefully I can fit down here so we've got a wee bit of gap in between so we've got a towel so it quickly knows the odd not rough you know I get a, just a rough idea so what do we need for length of that I know that's it's going to be too short isn't it yeah oh. where's that tape so this is 370 mils, but we want to try and get between the bolts if we can. That's where I want to try and pick up off if I can. So it's going to be tight, but I'll probably better do it. You know, we'll we'll try and make it work. So if I'm getting the five main cans down there, and then maybe another five, yeah, maybe another five on the other rack down the back, so I can have a you know a can of black. Maybe a spare can of etch, you know, another can of brake clean. You know, it, you know, I normally have a can of silver or something just to spray on brackets and whatever. You know, sometimes, you know, you'll be cleaning up the old bracket or whatever. You know, I can just grab a rattle can, flick a bit of black on it, you know, hang it up, whatever, and then we can bolt it on later on. Just have shit handy. Um, you know, I've got some copper head gasket stuff that I could probably poke down in there too. You know, just all that sort of shit for when we're mucking around with old stuff I did think about maybe just building one right across the back which I may do because I have got a wee bit more of this so I could join another piece on it um, which is just it's actually just a bit of box <laughs> I just sliced the box in half so I might do that I don't I don't think I've got a decent piece that's left um, or do I Here's a, here's a, yeah but that's probably just about too good to cut up for this but I might <laughs> for a long one I might make a full length long one and just put 
a whole heap of them down there. You can all, we can put other fucking shit in there. It doesn't matter, you know what I mean? Right, bugger, I thought I was fucking video on there. Good thing I'm making two of them. <laughs> um, well, at this stage, I'm making two of them, so I've tacked the first one together. Um, I'm now just going to go run it across the bout sander. Oh, jeez, I should have dropped that one down a bit more. Might have to cut those and move them down. Unfortunately, I haven't got a, a cutting disc for a freaking drop saw. I keep forgetting to get one. I don't use it terribly often because I'm mainly doing panel work. I'm not doing a lot of heavy fab where I'm cutting up box section and shit. Occasionally. Um, yeah, and unfortunately, I, was, <laughs> I haven't got a drop saw, so I've just been using a... Um, just a cut-off wheel just to cut these pieces. And I'm freaking, I thought I had that better lined up. But I'm just going to go run it across the, um, the belt sander over there to just to even these up a bit so they're not so frickin' catty wampus. So I can weld it onto... Where are we? I'm going to off the light. Onto here. So I can weld that onto there. And then we can just bang a couple of frickin' screws through the bottom. Uh, I was trying to just... I was thinking of doing it that way, but it's this is actually just to get bang on the right width for the whole thing and I just I, I don't think I'd ever get the we don't get the wouldn't get the screws in there um if you know what I mean like because they're too close to the edge you'd have to get them in on an angle and that just wouldn't work so let me show you but yeah this is going to live down here that's funny perfect width so what I'm going to do is just, um, instead of having this this way, and my plan was to you know, catch it like that, it's just it's a bit wide. So I'll just put it down the way, that way, I think it should be still okay. And uh, just put them in from the bottom, I think it'll be okay. Yeah, we're going to weld down here and whatever, as long as it doesn't break off, it'll be right. Well, this hole's not too big too yet. I might have to do the washing. Um. Figure out another one then. 
right down there. Whether I make a, a big long one or, or what, I'm not sure yet. Whether we measure up and just see what we've got for material left. And, uh, well, you know, at least put a few more cans down there and, I don't know, whatever else, if you know what I mean. Doesn't really matter. I can even, um, like some of the old lids, I could sit in bits and, uh, you know, just put fucking odds and ends and a few screws and washers and, and shit like that, you know, if I just happen to need something handy or whatever. I don't know, whatever. Whether we measure up and we'll just see where we where we get to, but that's freaking awesome. That works awesome. I was a wee bit worried about that not being strong enough, but like your cans, not very freaking heavy, you know, even when they, if you had five full cans along there, it's not like that's going to break that off in a hurry. You know, we'll give that a coat of paint later. Not too worried about it right now, but it's bloody awesome. You know, it's not as though it's not impeding trying to get anything out of there right from the front. You know, a little bit from the side, but oh, who, who cares, like, you know. I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, oh, we might build up some more. Um, we just need a bit of tube. What have we got left here? So I was using about 60 mil for every tube. Each length, give or take, if you know what I mean. So I've got enough for. I've got to leave enough for 10. Anyway, roughly, you know, 10, 11. So it's awesome. So you will have a wee, wee workout. See what we can get down here. We'll might just do a full length strip. I'll cut. Um, I'll see. I might just join that bit of scrap onto that for all it's going to friggin matter if you know what I mean or have a wee measure up see if that bit's long enough otherwise I'll just cut a, a length off that and just split it do the same thing just take those two bolts out and bolt it on we'll come back when we've done it
Righty, so perfect. Now, I'll, I'm going to have to sort out exactly what I'll put on there, but I just threw some cans in there. Like the butane torch will probably stay there. You know, a couple of spare cans of one of each. Um, you know, I'll get a spare can of weld through. Um, yeah, I'll get another can of that. I'll better sit around there. I'll probably better have a spare can of like CRC and brake clean. You know, and just a couple of cans of black and whatever. You know, silver. You know, just just a few bits and pieces that you normally regularly use. You know. I could even have a spare can of, um, I need to, like I could even have a spare can of butane gas or whatever. That would actually get a little bit in it. They're weird, those things. They don't like being cold. Yeah, see, so like I could throw. Well, yeah, that one doesn't need to be there. It's just some paint that I painted an engine with. So I could even have a spare one of those there, you know, from a butane torch. Like a full one. Now when that one runs out, throw it away. So yeah. Handy, handy, handy. So I'm really getting this one set up now. So obviously we don't want anything along here. We could. We could put some extra... You probably have it just so you could have some some sort of holders down here for some, I don't know, just bits and pieces. But you wouldn't want anything tall. But what does it matter around the back? You know what I mean? It's still there. It's still handy. still within... You know, you haven't got to travel halfway around the workshop to find it. So... Perfect. Awesome. So yeah, good little um, upgrade tool cart. You know, I'll whip them off, paint them probably tomorrow. Give them a quick edge and just throw a bit of black over them or whatever. Um, but yeah, perfect little addition. Three inch exhaust tube. A little bit of even light gauge angle on whatever you got floating around. A bit of, I don't know, inch and a half by inch and a half sort of type sort of thing. Just light gauge or even... If I just get a piece of, um, piece of, uh, I don't know, like 16 gauge, like panel steel, cut a decent strip, put it in your folder, bend it up, whatever, if you've got access to that, whatever. You know, it doesn't, won't take much, um, you know, if you're doing something like this. So, yeah, perfect little addition, keeps all your cans handy. Um, you know, I've seen Brent do one the other day. He put it up the top, you know, on the back of his toolbox with a few odds and ends. He's like, you could do that too, but you now I put my discs up there. You know, it's squares that I don't use. Yeah, you, know, you do use, but you don't use. It depends on what you're doing. Um, they're handy, you know. Um, those discs aren't in the road of getting anything out. Yeah, just pull them in and out. That doesn't stop you. So, handy little job. Hey, handy little job to do to make just life a little bit easier, you know. But as I said, you know, I'm going to build another one. Well, well not build another one, but just try and find another one similar to this. And the only one of the other additions I want to do to this is we want to get a rubber mat for the top and put a, a upstand on this. I want to weld some angle on to the top or something like that. Just tack it on in a few places and put a black rubber mat or something in there. Just so I can have nuts and bolts and screws and they don't ro roll off. Just... A wee bit more handy than having an open edge. Um, yeah, it's just it's another little addition I want to do to it. Um, but yeah, really handy. Like just a bit of three-inch exhaust tubing works perfect for rattle can uh, for rattle cans. Um, you know, I've got fucking whole fourteen cans on there now. So nine down the back, five down the side. You know, I would have got an extra one down there if I could have. But hey, and I put those ones down a little bit lower. Like I flipped the angle on, ran the other way because it worked better to keep it lower on this particular one. Um, you know, those ones I stuck up high just because it, that's to get access to the bolt. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, all those sorts of things. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. So hopefully that gives you some tips and tricks to do some more, some little modifications to, you know, tool, a tool cut similar to that, you know real handy having all those cans handy you know you can have a couple extras of each one that you use regularly and um go from there all right thanks for watching